we're going to allow the candidates to ask questions of the other candidates. And we have spoken to the candidates before, and it has been determined that Ed Atkinson will ask the first question of Rusty Bailey. That question must be asked within 30 seconds, and then Mr. Bailey will have 60 seconds to respond, and there will be no opportunity for a rebuttal by Mr. Atkinson. So, Mr. Atkinson, please offer your first question to Mr. Bailey directly. Okay. Uh, you know, on your, uh, on your brochure here, it says, I'll challenge the status quo to improve the quality of life on there. And my question is, you voted for Mike Gardner instead of Paul Davis to serve on Mark, Mark's Joint Powers Authority. The Orange Crest and Mission Grove neighborhoods are the most impacted by the March Air Reserve Base. To enhance the quality of life of the neighborhood, do you think the March Joint Powers Authority would be better served with the council person who represents Orange Crest and Mission Grove neighborhoods? Well, obviously, uh, the, the councilman from that ward has been impacted by the flights out there and hears all the calls from his residents. So th there is a bias behind um, that, uh, um, uh, you know, situation. And first of all, Mike Gardner was on the council before Paul Davis. And so typically, the council members get to choose which commission, which authority they would like to be on. And so because of his seniority, Mike wanted to be a part of that Joint Powers Commission. And as I was saying before, um, you know, certainly Paul at some point uh, should be on that Joint Powers because he has that connection and he has that, um, that passion to serve his constituents. And they have some serious issues with the decisions that were made, um, including when, when you were there um, uh, in, in, in the, uh, the Joint Powers Authority. Thank you.